this video I'm going to show you how you can add a watermark on your video using Sony Vegas Pro. So what you have to do first is try to make your watermark transparent so it doesn't have background. This is how it should look. As you can see there's no background in your in my watermark. Uh, this this one has background as you can see it's white but this one doesn't so just make sure it doesn't have background you can delete it and save your image as PNG so let me show you how you can do that real quick with Photoshop okay so open Photoshop and import your logo and now what you have to do is simply select magic eraser tool and click on the background as you can see it disappears or you can use a magic wand tool select click on the white background and click the late button oh first you have to double click on your layer and make like this now deleted and as you can see again you don't have background now click file and save as now what you have to do is make sure you save it as PNG so click over here and select PNG and name it whatever you like it okay so let's go back to Sony Vegas and over here when you import your picture you will see it says the name dot PNG and you will see this this like checkboard chessboard you will see that these squares gray and uh, little dark gray squares that means it's transparent now first what you have to do is import your logo inside and you can see it's normal and now you want to import your video picture or whatever you like under the logo okay and you should get something like this now you want to click on logo layer click event pen crop button it's gonna give you this now zoom out and you see this F over here that's your frame so for example if I move this F you see the picture also moves and now let me just right click and restore you wanna make it bigger so your picture will become smaller you see okay and now you wanna move it I usually just put it in right down corner over here so you can do that as well something like this make sure you untick all of these options just tick this one and this one normal edit tool and size about center so just tick that one and make sure it's set to move freely X or epsilon I mean X and Y okay and uh, that's about it now you have your logo over here now I usually just set it transparent so what you have to do over here you have level and you can move that uh, the slider you can move it for example I'm gonna move it something like this and as you can see the picture gets transparent also you can uh, simply let me just zoom in you can zoom in by scrolling your wheel on mouse mouse wheel just scroll it and it's going to zoom in or zoom out and now if you move your mouse above the picture or your video you will see it says opacity is 100 now click hold and drag your mouse down and again you're going to get transparent image it's going to say opacities for example I usually set it to maybe 40 45 percent something like that then just render your video and that's it thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe